this is Martin again for Paper Cut Games. Um, sorry there's been a little bit of a gap since our last one, but here's another brand new game from Paper Cut Games. Again, this is completely made up. This is our own game. Um, this one is called Pathway. Um, I think this one is quite different from any card games I've played before. Um, part of the reason is we're using a few extra props. So you will need, as well as a pack of shuffled 52 cards, you will need two normal six-sided dice and two counters of some kind for the two players. Um, the aim of this game is to get your player, your counter, from your starting card to your opponent's starting card, and their aim is to get them to mine. Um, I will show you how to do that now. Deck is shuffled. Give it a quick shuffle just to prove it. And I've given us uh, just a starting card each. Um, shuffle the cards. We're going to take it in turns to roll both dice, but the dice are going to do two different things for us depending on which phase of play we're in. So there's two phases of play. One is rollout. So that's where I am right now. If I roll two, then I'm going to lay down two cards like that. Now, it's a double. If I was moving, I'd get to roll again. But in rollout, I don't get to roll again. It's David's turn. David has rolled five, and he's going to lay out five cards. One tradition we have in Pathway is the pattern that we make with the cards, which is six up and a little leg across. So we're making this dog legging path. Um, you can change the shape if you'd like to, but that's what we use. So it's my go again. Now, I'm not at rollout anymore. I have a short little path. It's not gonna get me to David's end point yet, but it's got a couple of points I can aim at. Three doesn't do anything for me. What am I trying to roll? At the moment, I'm trying to roll either a 9 or a 7. And if I roll a 9, I can move straight to that card. If I roll a 7, I can move straight to that card. Until I do, I'm stuck. David. What have you got? 4. David, so there's no 4s he can move to, but he has rolled a double, so he can try again. 2. two. No 2s either. Make sure you roll them properly. That's it. Three. No, nope, no threes to roll. So we'll keep going until we roll something we need. That's an eight. There's no use. The jack, of course, will be an 11. The queen will be a 12. Oh, there you go. No queen. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, jack is 11. So he can roll straight to that. Because we can only roll up to 12, and because we can't roll a one with two dice, we have one special rule, which is if there's a king or an ace, they aren't cards that you treat in the same way. They're going to be stop cards, like stop sign cards. We'll show you when we come across one. Seven, brilliant. I've rolled there. Now, because I'm on the last card, and I could be on the second to last card, and this rule would work too, if you're on the last one or the second last one of your path, your next roll is going to be a rollout. So my next turn, my dice will give me new cards. David's got to still get either a 12 or a seven. Nope. So I've got to roll out, and I can roll out 11 cards. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which, as you can see, starts to close a path towards David's path. The, the, the point will come in this game where the pathways connect, and at that point, we're just trying to follow the path to the, to the end. What did you roll? Nine. Okay. So there's an ace in my path. This means that whatever I roll here, I'm going to have to stop. So I've rolled a nine. Actually, no, it doesn't count because there's no nines, so I can't move. But if I'd have rolled a five or an eight or a four, I would have only been able to move to the ace and I would have been end of turn. At the moment, I can't move. David still wants a 12 or a seven. Double. Try again. Double, try again. <laughs> You're good at these doubles, aren't you? Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Ready. So your next go is going to be? A roller. Yes, it is. So I've rolled six. No sixes. Can't crop. 
as you can imagine, once the paths connect, you've suddenly got a lot more freedom to move. Can you reach that? <laughs> you've suddenly got a lot more cards ahead of you and you can roll a lot more different numbers and still move. Well done. Brilliant. We have the card and a nice piece of plastic. There you go. So, 11, which is a jack, great, so, which means I can move, but I can only move to the ace, and I stop. Same would be true with the king. There we go. We've got a six, and there is a six, and it's a double, except I can't do that because it's all right. That. The, the extra turn for double only works for moving, and he's reached the end of his pass. Seven. Got no sevens. So it's my roll-up. Roll out. What have you got? Seven. Seven. You will find that when you get to the middle, depending on exactly how you've laid them out and who's laid out however many, you might need to change your dog leg pattern slightly so that they connect. We've got seven. Yep. Brilliant. We'll neaten that up. Yep. I've rolled a jack again. Brilliant. Of course, if I roll a two, I'm going to have to move to the nearest two. I can't just jump straight to the last one. Here we go. Eight. Have you got any eights? Nope. Nice. Uh, seven. No use. Seven. seven. No. no use. Five. Nope. It's a bit like Ludo this way. You're always waiting on a six before you can move again. Uh, seven, nope. Jack, nope. The little pot, by the way, is just so we're not forever losing the dice. Seven. Jack. Eight. Great. I get to move one space. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, an eight again. Nope. Whatever I want. So hopefully I can roll a four. That would be my best one. Five, yeah. You got a five. Brilliant. Next time's a and, and he can roll out, although that king will stop him as soon as he starts moving. Next one. That will be annoying. Right. Annoying. Annoying. <laughs> Something annoying that also makes a noise. It's a noise. <laughs> eight. So you're gonna roll out eight. Two kings in a row. This is going to be annoying. You have to stop twice. Yeah. Again, aces and kings are stop signs. Yep, two. you have a two there. So. And it's a double. Brilliant. Seven. Seven. Nope. Come on, girl. Seven up. Nope. Come on, come on, come on. Six, seven. Nine. No use. It's really not going very really fast right now. Three. Three. So you're stopping again. Where? Probably my best hope at this yeah. stage is that David completes the path. And then suddenly I have a bunch more numbers I can I can roll. Go on. It's all these twos. Yeah. Sometimes annoying. Uh, uh, twelve. Nope, we've got no queen. But, but you can double. roll. Seven. Nope. nope. Come on, the double one. That's a double anyway. Seven up. Nope. Eight is no use. Eight. Yep. Very good. Even though it's only one space, so it's bad. Okay. Hopefully you can see the dice. Haha, -ha, a four. Hopefully you can see the dice on one of the two cameras anyway, so I'm having to stop there, which is just the wrong place, because if it was there, I'd be able to do rollout. Seven. Nope. nope. Oh, nearly a four. Nine? Yes, nine. you've got a nine, well done. Nine. Oh, and you're just short of roll out two. Nope. 
So we could be here in the light. Oh, catch, catch. Six punches. Why is this always happening? Yeah, it was a six. I don't think it was. Doesn't matter. Go on. <laughs> Three. Eight. Five. Four, yes, I'm on rollout next turn. Hopefully we'll be able to connect them. Seven. Okay, so I have the pack. I need eight cards. So let me see. One, two, how am I gonna fit these in? <laughs> Three. Four. Hmm. That's four with that. I'll move these around like this. Yeah, good idea. Five, six, what seven, this eight. Where, where are you doing this? There's only five. We'll squeeze them in. There you go. Okay. Seven. Seven is no use. Now I've got a few more I can hit here. Are any of them an eight? No. Eleven, yeah? Eleven. Good one. Jack, so you're on roll out next, and we will connect the pass as long as you roll anything five or more. Seven, yep, yeah, I can get to a seven. Oh my goodness. Why do I always roll it out? Ah, it's a four. Four on my roll out. Oh my goodness, so roll out your four, and we'll have one more card. <laughs> nope, the other side. So one, two, that's really annoying. Three. Four and a gap which we can bridge and once one of us gets to the last card or two. Eleven. It's a jack, it's no use. Please. Ten. Ten. Please say you get a six. Five, no fives ahead of me. There you go. Six, got this chasm please. between the two paths. That's an eight. Oh, yes. I can move at least. Eight. Seven, that's the card I'm on. I've also got two aces and he's got a king, so we're not going away anywhere fast. Seven, nope. Eight. Six. Oh, that's what I need. Four. Six. No use. Full, yes. Which of course means I stuck on the ace before it, but it's a double. So I can try again. Five, nope. Uh, two, it's a double. It's a four. And David, six. Waiting on a ten, and you're waiting on a six. Go again. Please oh, oh. so Six. Going, I'm rolling crossed. a six. That's handy, isn't it? Fingers crossed. Going double, nope. double. Ah, oh, I'm rolling sixes, and you're rolling tens. Ah, oh, so close. Go on, David. Six. six. Yes. He's got a six. Next time we're doing roll down. Next time we're gonna get it. Yeah. Okay. So now it'll be king straight away. One or more? Can you roll one or more with two dice? I think you can. <laughs> there you go. Lay out the card. And we have a connected path with actually a nicely designed little gap in the middle. Now. Of course, that means that I can roll almost any number because I've got to get all the way there to the end. Six. Yeah, there's a six, so I can stop on that ace. And I'll stop on the king. You might also notice one special point. Five. Which is, because David's last card is a king, which is a stop, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get to his second last card, which is the eight, and then roll anything else. 
seven. I forget which number I am now. Um, sorry, which colour I am? Seven, seven, seven. Yes, there's a seven up there. So I can stop on this king. Ah, oh, we're meeting in the middle, look at that. <laughs> seven. Yeah, there's a seven. Stopping on the ace. Wait, was I red or green? Yeah, that's what I mean, we got crossed over. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. But if I was green? No, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Um, nine, yeah, there's a nine up here. So it's a race to the end. Come on. Please let me win. <laughs> it's all about the look of the roll. Nine again. Is there any nine? Well, nine says so a nine all the way over here. So I'll stop on that king. You got race to head on there. Yeah, I would have if it weren't for the king's rule. Seven. Brilliant. I think I'm winning, am I? Jacks. Yeah. yeah there's a jack. I'm going to get one step on the way to that jacket. <laughs> oh, eight. this is where the doubles are going to come in handy. There is an eight. There's one up here. Have I got another double or not No, <laughs> no, there's no tens. I think I'm closer than you. Jacks. Yeah, there's a jack. I'll watch this. All the way, all the way, all the way to there. <laughs> so I need an eight. You're much closer than me. Sixes. No, no sixes. I need an eight. Good number to roll. That's an eight. Oh, One more number of any kind and I've won. Go on, David. I, Can I, you roll a nine? I, I, or a seven? I can't even win. You, you win already. It's a seven. Look, you get to the ace anyway. You win. And roll a ten. Da, da, da. And... Good game. And that is the game of Craftway. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's certainly different. Um, can get a little bit annoying just waiting for the right dice roll, but that's the game of Pathway. I hope you will try it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like. I'd love you to subscribe, and then you can get all the brand new card games that we uh, that we come up with. Thanks. Bye.